Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to create an omnichannel service that send push notifications to iOS devices like iPhone and iPad. And this is a really important feature in any app to inform the user of any updates uh, on the server side. To make push notifications work, you first need to be a paid member in Apple's iOS developer program. When you are, you can go to the developer portal and create an app, a push notification certificate and a provisioning profile as you see in step 1 and 2. I won't go through this here, but you find the details on Apple's developer site and I have the link there down in the description. Please note that to use a certificate and a private key with PHP, you need to convert them to a .pem format. And there are, if you search in Google, you will find a few uh, tutorials on that. Uh, with the provisioning profile added, the app will register with the a Apple Push Notification Service, the APNS, on each run, which you see in step 3. And we'll get the device token in return, which is step 4. That token is normally shared with an omnichannel service in step 5 to be used when sending push notifications to the specific device. When something happens in the backend, indicated by step 6, the service either gets notified by the backend or has to pull the backend to get the changes and then sends a push notification message to the APNS in step 7. The APNS sends it to the device, which usually forwards it to the app in step 8 and the app then typically requests new information from the service in step 9. So let's have a look at the third and fourth step of this process and this is the code in the app delegate class. And on startup the app registered with the APNS on line 3 then it waits for either an event with the device token on line 6 to 10 or an error event on lines 11 to 14. Okay so now it's time to create the actual service that sends the push notification. And even if I'm using PHP here, the same functionality can be achieved on all major platforms, like those from IBM and Microsoft. And first, the stream context is created with the certificate and its passphrase on line 2 to 4, which is used to open a socket to the APNS on line 5. If the APNS responds, which, which is checked on line 6, the device token on line 10 and message on line 11 is set and the push notification payload is created on line 12 and converted to JSON on line 13. The message to the APNS is set up on line 14 and then sent on line 50. A message is showing whether it went well, that's line 17 or 21, and the socket is closed on line 23. To deploy this code to a cloud server, Please see some of my previous videos where I show this in detail. This is actually all you need to do to receive a push notification if the iOS device is on the lock screen. But if the app is in the foreground or background and you want to show an alert, you need to add some more code uh, to the app delegate class. And the first chunk of code, lines 1 to 9, gets the push notification while starting up the app so it should be placed in the did finish launching with options event. And the second chunk of code receives the push notification while it's in the foreground or background and that's line 10 to 14. They both call the third code on line 15 to 20 that shows an alert uh, with the pushed message and also reset the badge on the app icon. And there you have it, an omnichannel service that sends push notifications to iOS devices. Thank you.